I want to show you the new feature recently introduced in V-Ray to generate materials using an AI system. It's still in beta, but I guess in future it will be available in all other Chaos software that uses Cosmos, particularly Corona and Vantage come to mind. Let's see how it works. By clicking on this button, we open the Cosmos interface, which is a centralized library that currently holds almost 10,000 assets and very soon that number will grow even more. Now, if we go into the Materials section, we'll notice a little button down here that wasn't there before. This lets us generate new materials using artificial intelligence. We click Generate and we just need to input a text here. I'm talking about the diffuse part of the material. We can, for example, test one of the sample textures already available. Let's try these red bricks. Once the texture is loaded, we can set a few parameters to guide the AI so that it generates a material that closely matches what we have in mind. We can choose the resolution, preserve the colors, make it tileable, set up the bump intensity and define the surface type. But for now, let's leave everything as it is and just click Generate. Here is the resulting material and as you can see, it automatically generated a normal and bump map and some surface properties. Now let's click on Download, give it a name, let's say Bricks AI and save it. At this point we can either assign it directly to the surface or we can go to download section where we'll find the brick texture we just created. This small icon on the top left corner indicates that it was generated using AI. We drag it onto our surface and there we have the bricks applied. Of course we can already see that there are some imperfections here, but for now let's keep going and just see what we can get quickly, even if it's just a draft to experiment with which materials might work best. Let's generate something for the surface, for, for the floor I mean. We go to Cosmos, Materials, Generate and upload a map here. Earlier I found this texture of parquet, so I'll add it now. And here we can actually refine the map to make sure it reproduces the pattern as accurately as possible. We can decide whether the pattern should be rotated. And we can also define which portion of the image it should use. Let's reduce the roughness a bit and click Generate. Obviously, as you saw, I was able to adjust the surface glossiness and the bump intensity, but those are things we can also tweak manually later once the material is generated. Here is our new material. We download it and give it a different name. And let's click for a quick render. Well, the result looks pretty promising to me. We can clearly see how both the surface type and the relief have been recreated accurately. There are some imperfections, of course, but I believe this will be a new tool that can really help us save time and make our work a bit easier. Ciao!